What did you just say? You said people have what? I've forgotten how bad your putting is. So I got an email from the normal organist. I'm the resident like sub organist. She went on vacation. She needed me to sub for her for the next two, three, four undetermined number of weeks. They had this chart. I'm gonna see if I can show you. All the decided things I've written down on this beautiful piece of paper. And then now I need to go pick all the fill-ins because there's a lot of fill-in like background music I need to play. And then my computer is broken, so I have nothing better to do for the next 10, 15 minutes what than practice that. Here? It's like flashing green and purple, something's wrong with the screen. I didn't drop it, I didn't knock it, I don't know what happened to it. But like it started happening last night, but it wasn't that bad. But then this morning when I opened up my computer, destroyed. So I have an appointment we're gonna leave for in like 20 minutes. So I gotta go choose this music. I found both my organ folder and the hidden all. I am the least camera ready that I have ever been. Oh gosh. I will perform any day of the week. Doesn't matter. I'll get up, I'll play. Doesn't bother me. Playing in church, I just, I'm like six days out and I'm terrified. I don't want to do it. I have no desire to, I want to be able to do it. I want to be that person. But it just stresses me out. There's all the people, they're all hear you. And you know how it's supposed to go and it's so much harder and the organ only ever goes loud. That's something that I only realized when I started playing organ myself. Every other instrument has dynamic range, which means if you're gonna make a mistake or whatever, you can soften it out and it will go under the radar a little bit. But the organ, there's a certain amount of oxygen flowing through those pipes. Whether you accidentally drop something on the keyboard or you're trying to play something on purpose, it's always gonna sound really loud. <sighs> Seven easy pieces for worship. That is what we need. Oh, there's so much it's scary. Oh, and then there's which is 479. Oh, this is not that hard. I do not feel the need to try to play any Bach. I'm not under any delusions. I'm just gonna quickly talk over myself for a second in case you're curious about any of the pieces that I play throughout this entire video. I've linked them all in the description below with the oh, timestamps. I know this. This is not that hard. Thank you, Lord. Mr. Barra, if you're watching this, I hope you're proud. <laughs> uh, basically all I need is this blue folder, I've got the pages marked that I need. This potentially, if I get bored of the seven easy pieces for worship, which I highly doubt will happen. And then that is the recessional, which I'm gonna copy into a big page and like tape to the front of this. Let's see how this goes. For those of you wondering why I'm practicing organ on a piano, it's because I do have an electric piano up in my home studio in the attic, but it had not been finished at that point. It was really hot up there and it was broken, so. I don't know why I missed that, but I just played through the whole Kyrie thing in six spots instead of <laughs> one sharp. So that was, that was an eventful moment. If you have no idea what I just said, it's okay. It was really nerdy. Here's a video I posted on Instagram from that very day of me playing. I still, I, this music is really beautiful and it's so old and it's really cool. Hi! It is Wednesday? Wednesday night. Boys just started watching a Marvel game, a Marvel movie. Good Lord, this sentence is just screwed up. But I'm gonna sit here and do some organ real fast because I'm waiting for my mom to come down. And then maybe we'll do something fun tonight. the house relatively quiet today because all the siblings went to the amusement park. I'm sacrificing my reputation on the internet here for a second so that you can see just how bad I sound playing this. Like I'm a decent pianist but this just sounds bad. It's okay if you just sound bad when you're practicing too sometimes. <laughs> through the entire mass because tomorrow is Sunday and I'm nervous. I'm a nervous purpose. So I just did one whole round through. Now I'm gonna go 
copy all the pages into a beautiful little pamphlet so that it's easy and it's simple and it's low stress tomorrow. So all of this has been consolidated down to this and I didn't actually put it in bindings of any kind. It's all loose sheets because some of them are two pages, some of them are three, some of them are one and I wanted to be able to have this sense of accomplishment to like move the pages out of the way as the mass is going on so that I can feel more accomplished and feel happy about how we're getting closer to the end. I am done with round two. I'm glad I did that because I found some pages that were like upside down or in the wrong plate order or whatever so that was definitely worth doing. I've got one more round to go. I am still not excited about this. I don't think I will be excited about it. So I'm overcoming my nervousness and dis wanting to do this with over preparation, which is reassuring. So I'm just not thinking about it that much today. I'm preparing and that's it. And then tomorrow on the drive there, I will visualize it from beginning to end going super well. That's my plan. Okay, so it's Sunday. What the heck? We'll see how this goes. You are a great musician. You have prepared for this. You have practiced. You are going to crush it. Here we go. And then I lost my nerve and I have no footage of me actually playing, but I think God appreciated it. Okay, so it is Wednesday the week after. I haven't done a review of how Sunday went yet. Okay, let's just say that I was less terrified than I've ever been and it was the best that I've ever played so far, but there is room for improvement for next week. I have already printed out and put Sunday's music in that folder. I kept all of the inside pieces the same. My mom said no one would notice, um, but there's a different recessional, different entry hymn, and then different of all the other stuff to learn. So it is Wednesday. It's the first day I'm actually prepping it, but hopefully it'll be okay. The choir actually sang up in the choir loft with me, which is not what usually happens. So that was kind of nice, actually. The All the little stuff, though. Um, I'll show an example of what that actually sounds like. So the best way I found to explain it was this. The priest sings something, and it sounds something kind of like this. And they can just kind of start on whatever note they want. If you don't catch them in advance and like give them a leading note, they'll just kind of start wherever. And then you have to figure out where they started so that when the congregation sings something kind of like this, you can play along with them on the organ. Here, no one's playing with them, but I have to play along. So it can be all over the place. And everyone notices if you don't do it because they kind of are hesitant to sing. And it's just, yeah. It was not good. I forgot that there were multiple different versions and I only prepared one. So I definitely need to make sure I do that this week. I stayed behind a little bit after church to test out the organ a little bit and see what stops worked and which ones didn't, which is gonna be able to give me a little more variety and volume next week, which is good because I was nervous to pull out stops that I didn't really weren't sure that would work. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, all those buttons that you see are called stops. On a piano, there's only one kind of sound that comes out. On an organ, every one of those stops represents a whole new kind of sound. So it's like having 49, how many are there? Like 49 different pianos in one instrument. Also, I completely forgot to mention that during the asparagus, I had my mom up there to like push stop buttons for me because I haven't quite figured out like how to do the pre-settings on that organ yet. And then she didn't notice and the music literally went like, and I couldn't catch it. I had no idea what was playing. Everyone was singing and it was a big fat disaster. Kind of like the timer going off on me right now. It's Saturday, which means tomorrow is Sunday, which means I'm playing Oregon tomorrow. And I did stay home yesterday. We went to like this amazing adventure park and it was so fun. It was like one of those things where it was like wires and trees. Here's my dad crashing into a tree from that very day. And I ripped up my hand. I've got so much to do and I stayed home from a beach day so that I could work today. <sighs> one of the things I absolutely have to do is I have to run through the entire mouse like five times. And I can't do it consecutively. I have to do it like do it, come back and do it because that's harder on your brain. We're gonna see how this goes. For some reason, I thought that I already knew most of it, but the entire thing is different than last week. So I don't know what I was thinking, but it wasn't right. What do you need? What do you need? I don't already have to take you out, do I? Okay, I'll be back. He didn't even come with me. I went all the way outside and he didn't even come with. taken harmony classes before in my life and I did a lot of music theory and things like that but I would say that my method and the way that I go about 
doing this is not exactly anything textbook worthy. I really just use my ear for this. It was easy. I'm not trying to come up with anything new because I already have, I've heard this in before and I know how it's supposed to go. It's just that for whatever reason in this hymnal, they don't put any of the chords in. So, I mean, I actually, once I've written in the chord symbols, I prefer that than having to read a piece of music that doesn't have the chords written in, like the names of the chords. So I just quickly went in and did that based on what I wanted it to sound like. And it didn't take that long. It took um, 10 minutes from beginning to end. Here's a sped up sample of what me doing this sounds like. I didn't think you'd want to listen to the full clip of that kind of like terrible retro piano-y sound, but if that's helpful, there you go. Now you kind of know what my process is. All right, cool. My hair is kind of hurting me. I'm just going over some of the little ditties real fast. Feeling a little bit stressed about it, but I'm just trying to not stress. Um. Okay. Oh man, if you couldn't see the fear in my eyes before, you can see it now. So I was just organizing up my papers a little bit, and then I think that this thing that I did right here really exemplifies my state of mind on this particular Sunday morning. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm stressed sweating. I smell terrible. I don't think I'm ever gonna like this. Um, Ignore how illegal this is. Was it slightly better or much worse than last week? Much worse. Much worse. <laughs> It was much better. better. Slightly said, better. Kyrie, you were doing way too fast. What you like? Oh, yeah. You like turning it into a, a dance remix? Yeah. No. And also, apparently, too loud because the guy came up to me afterwards and was like, yeah. "Is there any way you can play less loud?" And I was yeah. like, "I didn't think it was loud at all." Yeah, you're you're kind of swallowing up the singers. Yeah, there was also a part Veronica where you made this weirdest noise. Every single Dominum Sanvinos was messed up. Dominum Sanvinos. Look, they were the there thing was one is, interval you gave that got better. <laughs> the thing is you gave Henka a certain note. What's with that part at the end where they sing in the Queen? They're like, <laughs> just <laughs> Yeah, Veronica's Bron <laughs> just like, a fit. Cool. This'll work. Yeah. She's just like, <laughs> I hate doing that so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I genuinely just wanted to cry the whole time. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I hate playing the organ in church. I hate it. And you know what the worst part is? I'm pretty sure or Ode is abandoning me for the organ on Assumption on Saturday. So I have to play on Saturday and on Sunday. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't play this. I can't. Well, I can't. You'll get practice. You'll get practice stuff on Saturday. You, for on like the one feast of the year, my best friend's birthday, like the biggest feast of Our Lady, I can't play the organ. I can't do that. Why? Well, what because I sound best so bad. I know. I'm not sure about what the Samantha connection here, but no. But it's what? just an important day. And I also feel like a new person because I emailed the church organist and I told her I was like, "Hey, maybe we're going to be out of town on Saturday and Sunday," which is basically true. And she was like, "Oh, it's okay. I'm not going to be back, but there's a priest who can play instead." And so the priest is going to play instead, and I don't have to play at all. I don't have to play on Saturday. On Sunday, I am done. If they ever ask me to play again, I'm more than happy to do it, like in the future. But I just, it is so stressful for me. It is not fun. I do not enjoy it. I do not enjoy it anymore now than I did when I started this challenge. But I'm just so relieved. I'm so grateful. I was praying. I was praying a lot that I wasn't gonna have to play. So I don't have to play. That concludes this video. This is the second video that I'm ending in the kitchen. Bye. Bloopers. Shaky cam. She, uh, it's not getting better. Oh, that was so cold. Gosh, I keep just putting my head on my hand. I think I need another coffee. I just didn't brush my hair. No. Nope. Uh -uh. Okay, well, sometimes you take a shower and you feel like a new person. Dang it, dang it, it's gonna fall. Whoa, that was super shaky. Well, let me get my hair situated. Yeah, you never need to get your hair situated, do you? It's just always fabulous. Neither do you. <laughs>